वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश थर्टी सेवन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर नाइन दैट इज स्ट्रेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द शॉर्ट हैज डायमीटर डी एंड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू लोडिंग शोन डिटरमाइन द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस एंड द मैक्सिम इन प्लेन शेयर स्ट्रेस दैट इज डिवेलप एट पॉइंट ए द बेरिंग ओनली सपोर्ट वर्टिकल रिएक्शन सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ्ट and at this end and at this end we have bearing that only supports vertical reaction there is a point load p at this point the total length is l so you have to find the principal stresses and maximum in plane shear stress at this point a so sigma 1 and sigma 2 principal stresses and maximum in plane shear stress so let's start with the solution so what we will do is that first step is that you when you remove this uh, support so you will be having a vertical reaction and when you remove this support again you will be having the same reaction force let this is point 1 and this is point 2 so it will be reaction will be r1 and it will be r2 so we will find this r1 and r2 by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point 1 the first moment is produced by this p load and perpendicular distance is this one l by 2 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write it first that uh, p into p multiply by l by 2 and this will be negative the second moment that is produced by this load will be R two and perpendicular distance is total this L by two plus L by two which is L and that is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive so again I will write it plus R two into L is equal to zero this force is not producing moment because this is passing through this point R one is also not producing and this force is not producing any moment so only this force and this force is producing moment now from here we will get minus p l by 2 plus r2 into l is equal to 0 so what we will get is that r2 into l will be equal to plus p l by 2 and when you divide l on both sides so you will get r2 will be equal to p divided by 2 so this is the value of r2 now we will find r1 by using another equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so r1 is upward and r2 is upward and r3 uh, p is downward so r1 plus r2 minus p is equal to 0 so we do not know r1 so r1 will be equal to p minus r2 again p minus r2 is p by 2 so when you calculate it you will get r1 will be also equal to p divided by 2 okay now we have this r1 and r2 so what we will do is that if you uh, cut this beam at any length for example if i cut it over here section a a and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this this is the beam uh, or this is the beam let me raise it okay so let this is the beam clear so this is point f uh, this is point 1 where f load is applied horizontal here we have r1 which is equal to p divided by 2 i will also write r1 is equal to p divided by 2 so when you cut it you will be having a shear force which will be equal to v and you will be having a moment and as well as you will having a horizontal reaction force which will be equal to n 
so we will find this n v and m so for that i will apply sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so f is acting plus side and n is acting negative side so f minus n will be equal to zero so it means that f is equal to n clear so f is equal to n uh, we will use undo okay now we will find this uh, v so for that i will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so r1 which is acting upward which is p by 2 minus this v which is acting downward is equal to zero so from here you will get this v is equal to p divided by 2 now we'll find this m so for m i will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about section a a is equal to zero so this is this is section a a clear and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about this the first moment will be this p divided by 2 and we let cut it at l by 2 so this distance will be l by 2 there so first moment will be this p by 2 into l by 2 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative and the second moment about this section a a will be this reaction moment and this will be counterclockwise so their sum must be equal to zero so i will write p divided by 2 into l divided by 2 this is minus plus m is equal to zero so what we will get is that this moment will be equal to p l over 4. Now you can see here that this is the case where we have axial load that is compressive clear and we have a moment as well clear. So due to this moment again you can see here we will have a bending. So your normal stress which is equal to I will write normal stress normal stress which is equal to normal stress which is equal to sigma will be the combination of axial load which is p by a in this case it is f so i will write general formula this is compressive so p minus p by a plus minus the stress due to this bending moment so this stress will be equal to m into c divided by i clear again now we what we will do is that we have this uh, we will find the area and moment of inertia so area will we do not have the diameter it's general so it is given that the diameter is d clear so area of circular shaft is pi by 2 d square clear and the moment second moment of inertia for this circular shaft is equal to pi by 4 c power 4 and c c is radius so radius is equal to diameter divided by 2 which is 4 or it can be also equal to pi by 4 d power 4 okay now we have these values clear so due to this moment we will have bending stress bending will be equal to m into c divided by i clear and due to this normal compressive force which is minus p by a so you can just put the value over here so sigma will be equal to minus f p will be replaced by f because this is f force and that is compressive divide by pi by 4 d uh, pi by 2 pi by 4 d square so this is also area is pi by 4 d square 
now you can see that here due to this bending this will this beam will bend like this due to bending the beam will bend like this and we will find the the principal stress is at this point a which is in lower side so lower side is in tension and upper side is in compression clear so here the stress will be positive so this will be replaced with plus sign so i will write it plus movement and c is this radius from center to the outermost divide by i i is pi by 4 pi by 64 this is 64 d pi by 64 d power 4 now if you simplify it will be equal to minus 4 f over pi d square plus this moment is again equal to p l over 4 into c is d divided by 2 divided by pi by 64 d power 4 so further simplify minus 4 f over pi d square and that will be equal to plus this will be equal to p l d over 8 divided by pi by 64 d power 4 so further simplify it 4 f over pi d square plus 8 1 8 will cancel with this 8 so it will be pi by 8 so again this will be equal to 8 p l over pi d q that will be equal to sigma so this sigma if you take 4 over pi d square as common so this will be left with minus f plus 2 p l over uh, 2PL over D. Clear? So we can rewrite it 4 over pi D square into 2PL over D minus F. So this is the normal stress. Now again if you look at here this is point A where you are interested to find out the bending stress. So this is your point A and this is the neutral axis. Let me draw it. So if this is the shaft, if this is the shaft and this is the neutral axis there and this is your point A. So you can see that point A is outer surface. So we know that shear stress is equal to v into q a divided by i into t here q a will be equal to y dash bar into area so this point this is the point a and there is no area over here so q a will be equal to zero so q a i will write q a will be equal to zero so it means that shear stress will be also equal to zero now we have only normal stress uh, normal stress sigma and shear stress is zero so if i draw a state of stress like this clear so the normal stress which is given as this one that is positive so it, let me draw it this is the normal stress there is no stress in y direction so sigma is equal to sigma x and that is equal to 4 over pi d square into 2 p l over d minus f and shear stress is equal to of x y is equal to 0 also sigma y is equal to 0 so only we have sigma x over here and if you recall it and if you want to draw the more circle so you will need uh, the coordinates sigma x comma tau of x y and sigma y comma tau of x y so here you can see you have sigma x and tau of x y is 0 and these both are 0 so if you plot it for example if this is the sigma x comes out to be over here and y is tau of x y is 0 and if you draw the mohor circle like this clear so you can see that this is the 
principal stress where we have sigma 1 and sigma 2 which is this one so here you can see that sigma 1 will be equal to sigma x which is equal to 4 over pi d square into 2 p l over d minus f clear and sigma 2 is 0 so these are the principal stresses now we will find the maximum in plane shear stress so in plane maximum in plane shear stress is given by formula that is sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y square so you can just put the value sigma x is 4 over pi d square into 2 p l over d minus f whole square uh, minus 0 divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y which is 0 square and under the root that will give you in plane shear stress and that will be maximum in plane shear stress again when you calculate it will be equal to uh, this will be again equal to 4 over pi d square into 2 p l over d minus f whole square divided by 4 under the root this will be this will be included over here in square so again you will see that you will get this square will cut with this so you will be having uh, and 2 will be outside so again in downward we will be having 2 and this will be equal to uh, let me clear it square will be cancelled 2 to 4 2 will come out and this will be equal to 4 over pi d square into 2 p l over d minus f that is maximum in plane shear stress and this 2 will cancel with 4 so it will be 2 into 2 p l over d minus f divided by pi d square which is the in plane shear stress and that is the answer of our these questions so this is the maximum in plane shear stress and this is the principal stresses and that was all about this problem 9-17 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching